We normally don't come out with a part 2 video so quickly, but due to our loyal subscribers request and how much deceptive foods that are really out there, we felt that it's our purpose to inform you, our viewer, of the food labels that could be misleading and continue to keep you informed of it. In this part 2 video, we will cover more of these sneaky food labels that you need to be aware of. So if you haven't seen the first video, make sure to watch it on our channel. Also make sure to stick around to the end of this video because this is one you should be coming back again and again to refer to the information. But before we go any further, click the share button to share this with someone you care about. Smash the like button and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be informed of our weekly video uploads every Sunday. Okay, let's get right into this. Number 1. In the first video, we covered foods with low sodium and which labels can be confusing. The other white substance that healthy conscious consumers are avoiding these days is foods that are high in sugar. So what do food companies do in response? Slap on the sugar free or low sugar labels. The thing is, just because a food is sugar free doesn't necessarily mean it's a healthier option. For instance, sugar free foods are possibly packed with fats and other unhealthy ingredients to compensate for the lack of sugar. Also, many of these sugar-free foods uses artificial sweeteners such as aspartame as substitutes for sugar which we covered in this video. Now according to an article by NCBI, studies using animals have shown that artificial sweeteners can cause brain tumors, kidney issues, and weight gain along with a host of other various health issues. Now there's more to this. According to the FDA, sugar-free does not mean there's no sugar at all. If a serving of food contains less than 0.5 grams of sugar, both added and natural, then it can carry the label of sugar-free. As we covered in the first video with trans fat free labels, the 0.5 grams can add up really quickly. Fitness professional Bernadette Abraham is here to discuss the reality of labeled food. Sugar free, when, when you're talking about sugar free, it doesn't have any table sugar, but it does have sweeteners. It's got sugar substitutes, it's got sugar alcohols. Mm -hmm. Now, sugar alcohol is a natural form of sugar called the polyol. Mm -hmm. It's much, much sweeter than, than table sugar, mm -hmm. and so you need just a little bit to sweeten the product. Now, if you take excess of this, it can cause intestinal discomfort. It's actually, you'll see a little small print if you, if you look on sugar-free foods that say excess consumption may lead to, you know, intestinal discomfort. And if a label does not list sugar as the first ingredient, it doesn't mean the sugar content is not high. All of these ingredients are substitutes for sugar. Number two, the made with real fruit or real fruit juice labels. This labeling is similar to the whole grains we covered in the first video as the FDA allows food that have very little amount of real fruit or real fruit juice to be able to put the name made with real fruit label on it. So you might want to pay extra attention to the foods you buy such as fruit snacks, fruity cereals and cookies, fruit drinks that carry this label. With little to no regulation on what the actual amount of real fruit is required in order for food companies put the label on their products, it can range anywhere from a piece of small fruit to a couple of drops of real fruit juice to mislead consumers to think they are buying a food product that contains mostly real fruit. It's been advised that the best way to find out how much real fruit the food contains is to look at the ingredient list. If you hardly see any fruits that you recognize in a bunch of ingredients that you cannot even pronounce, then the cat is out of the bag on this one. ...are filled with food labels making all kinds of fruit claims. Look at those. 100% fruit. Check this one out, made by Sunripe. It's called Fruit Source 100% Fruit Bars. How can you go wrong? These are the things that go into lunch boxes and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Time to find out if this fruit bar is as good for you as you think. If we look at the nutrition facts, 29 grams of sugar in every bar. So, how much sugar is that? Well, the amount of sugar in each one of these bars is the same amount of sugar you'd get if you ate... One, two, three, four, four. five six and a half Oreo cookies. And I don't think many parents would be sending their kids with six and a half Oreo cookies worth of sugar to school every day. Number three, the low carb or keto labels. Trying to lose weight for the upcoming new year? Well, most people most likely look to a low carb or keto diet. If this resonates with you, then buyers beware of the food products with a low carb and keto labeling. Many food companies might slap on a low carb or keto labels on their food products even if in actuality the nutritional stats do not match what they're claiming on their labeling. The companies are slapping on a false label, they take the risk for the sake of making more sales with the increased consumer conscience on lower carb diets that can help lose weight. The FDA hasn't been enforcing these regulations aggressively either. Best thing to do is pay extra attention to the nutritional facts. 
my reaction initially is astonishment. What astonished NYU cardiology professor Dr. Howard Weintraub is the potentially dangerous mislabeling of these so-called low-carb, sugar-free snacks we had tested in a lab. This could have very serious health implications. We had a number of Eat Right products tested in a lab. In May, we reported the Chicago Deep Dish Pizza Uno, which the label claimed was 210 calories, really had 583 calories. Instead of six grams of fat, there were 29 grams. And carbs listed as seven grams turned out to be 53 grams. Well, if people are eating these pizzas regularly and wondering why their pants don't fit, now we know. Number four, hormone free. Do not get fooled by this deceptive label. I've been seeing this label more frequently recently as food companies have seemed to pick up on consumer behavior trends of finding more natural, organic, and hormone-free foods. So if you come by some chicken that has a hormone-free labeling on it, you want to hear this. Federal law has actually banned hormones from being used on poultry, veal, and other meats such as bison. According to this article by the Food and Water Watch, the USDA requires food companies that use the hormone-free labeling to include the disclaimer that says, there are no hormones approved for use in poultry, veal, etc. by federal regulations. So if your chicken at the local market is labeled hormone free, it is the manufacturer trying to mislead you to think that the chicken is worth the higher price tag. After all, the average consumer will probably assume hormone free is healthier. So in other words, putting a hormone free label on chicken and veal products is staying what you're supposed to be doing and is really essentially saying a bunch of nothing and pork products that says hormone free. Chicken and pork products are not allowed to use hormones anyways, so there's no value to that label. However, hormones can be given to cows and sheep, but a hormone free label on these products isn't a guarantee. Number five, low fat or fat free. Do not be fooled by low fat labeling on foods. You might think if there's no fat, it might be healthier and appealing, especially for those looking to watch their weight. These labels can be quite misleading because it's easy to perceive a low fat or fat free as a healthy alternative and food companies know this and put this as a marketing ploy. The reality however is it can be far from healthier and let me explain why. The thing is some low fat or fat free foods can still be packed with carbohydrates and have the same amount of calories as a standard version of the food, both in which are essential when it comes to keeping the weight off. Foods that have the fat removed can also sacrifice the overall taste of the food. To make up for this, food companies might increase the sugar content to compensate for the lack of taste, thus causing more consumption of sugars per serving, which is the opposite of healthier. It's free of this. What's being added to make it taste better? The fat-free creamer. Yes, it might be fat-free, but look at the sugar content. And it either has a greater amount of sugar or sugar substitutes to compensate for lack of flavor. Next time you're shopping for your groceries, compare a low-fat or fat-free food with a standard version and see what differences are in the nutritional facts. Check to see if the certain ingredients we have mentioned are increased in the fat-free version of the foods. Let us know what you find in the comments below. And that's it for this part 2 video. There are still some more deceptive food labels out there that we still haven't covered, but we'll leave it to our subscribers to mention what we haven't covered in the comments. If there's enough comments, we might even do another video on this. Before you click off this video, make sure to hit the share button and share this on social media. Smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to click on the notification bell as that will let you know when our new video gets uploaded every Sunday. Until then, stay informed and Genius Tomato out.